I was a teacher. I taught history um, before I came to law school. And I think history and the law kind of go well together. As a teacher, you know, you have to explain complex ideas to people for the first time. And that's really what you do as an attorney. Once I graduate law school, uh, my plan is to practice business litigation or commercial litigation, business law. One of the reasons why I want to go into that field of law is I have a mom who's a partner in a small business. And I understand just how important legal representation is to clients who really don't know a lot about the law as it pertains to their given area of uh, expertise. Being able to serve in that capacity really makes you almost like a part of that company. You're a part of that family of people that is responsible for providing a good or a service because you know you care about how that company uh, develops, you care about how well they progress, you care about how they grow, and that's really uh, invaluable motivation for me. The advice I would give to someone that's interested in coming to law school is be positive. That's going to be the most important thing. You never know where your career is going to take you. You never know what experiences you're going to have once you get into law school. But be positive. Know that the Stetson education is an exceptional one. Know that you're going to be an exceptional candidate if you come to Stetson and everything's going to be okay. As far as being involved in law school, there's a lot of different ways you can go. While you're here, you can join a journal like I'm on. I'm on the Journal of International Wildlife foreign policy or you can join one of the other journals or law review there's trial team there's ADR there's moot court um, if you want more practical experience um, but not necessarily on a team you can do a federal externship or an internship a clinic where you're actually working very closely with the practitioner to provide representation or resolve disputes that come before courts. These are all ways you can get involved. Now I'm also president of the Student Bar Association and we have eight committees, two special committees, and also we have 45 student organizations that we fund. So these student organizations uh, vary. They go from a wide range of special interest groups uh, that law students want to go into when they're done. That's an excellent way to get leadership and meet practitioners in the field that focus on uh, areas of the law that you want to potentially go into.